So they say sitting is the new smoking and it totally is. Except for today, I'm gonna to share with you one of my favorite ways to open the hips and all you need is a chair. Preferably one without arm rails so we have room to move around a bit. So take a seat and we'll get started. I wanna make this one quick and effective so maybe you can fit this in on a lunch break at work or if you're just getting started in your fitness journey, it's the perfect way to start stretching. Now I want you to begin by extending one leg out. At some point you can add a progression by adding a couple books or a block underneath your heel, which is gonna give you just a little more leverage to your pose. And make sure you're at the front end of your chair. Hands to the hips, and just take a couple rocks here back and forth. Curl the tailbone under, and then extend forward. Right, so lots of times when we fold, people fold improperly. They fold from a rounded back. Typically it's because of tight hamstrings. We need to make sure that we're folding from the pelvic tilt forward. So once you feel that, reach as far forward as you can with the arm, reach, reach. Hand can come onto the leg. If you can go a little deeper, you can use the hand on the foot, but I want you to make sure you are contracting through the shoulder. Once you settle in, Look in with your eyes, that'll take you deeper, and try to get heavy in your upper body. Engage the muscles of the extended leg. You might notice that takes you a little deeper. And look for a little more length. As you breathe in, try to lengthen your body, and exhale, fold deeper in. One more breath. Roll up, keep that leg out there. We're gonna take a twist. So same hand as leg, come to the hip, and then you wanna come across. So I wanna go opposite arm to outside of the leg. Think of a little spider. I'm gonna walk down the leg and begin to add rotation. All right, so this is gonna target IT band. Begin to twist, walk down your leg. You can hold here. Actually push your hand into your leg and you'll notice you spin deeper. If you can find the outside of the foot, same thing here, shoulder is contracted. So we're focusing on twisting and extending. Keep trying to reach the crown forward, long on the inhale. Exhale, sink in, imagine getting deeper. I know it's deep, just breathe. Take your time, begin to roll your way up. Bring that leg with you. Just give it a little kick. Sit tall, foot is flexed, come across to personal favorite. This is your seated pigeon pose, which is how I try to remember to return my emails so I can continue to stretch my hips. From here, we'll go through progressions. I can put a little bit of weight on this knee and try to extend the heart forward. It's that same pelvic tilt. So roll back, roll forward, and then focus on the extension. If you feel like you can go a little deeper, you can just add a little more weight onto the leg. How I like to take this is opposite palm to heel. So a little press there, a little press on the knee. Fold closer to the foot and you'll notice you go a lot deeper into that hip. Roll your way up and just give that leg a little bit of a jostle, kind of confuse the muscle a bit. We'll go back in, foot is flexed, sit nice and tall. I want you to frame the foot with your two arms. See if you can fold a little deeper in, look in with your eyes, get heavy. And roll your way up. I try to make sure I do that one at least once a day. Take that working leg, you wanna swing it to the side. Our goal is to get the knee to point down. So you wanna make sure you walk this foot further back so that you can get that nice angle stretching the quad and the hip flexor. Make sure it's a pelvic tilt. This time we wanna focus on squeezing the glutes and pulling the pelvis underneath us. 
really drive into the floor with that back foot. You can come up and over with the arm. You can also work a little rotation. Maybe begin to spin towards the back of the chair. But my goal here is to really engage through that quad, press into the floor with your back foot. Unravel, back to center. Let's get ready for that second side. Leg extends, right front end of the chair, flex the foot. Hands on the hips, pelvic tilt forward and back. Now, if you don't believe me on how important it is, curl the tailbone under. And now I want you to try to reach into your fold, see what you feel. And then tilt forward, yes. And now reach, which is a completely different story. Come as far forward as you can go. Hand can come onto the leg. If you have the foot, make sure you are contracting the shoulder in your fold. Look in with your eyes. Inhale, think of a wave. Inhale, ripple up, pull yourself forward. Exhale, try to get a little deeper. Rolling up, adding rotation, hand to hip, come across the body. We spider walk down, finding IT band. You wanna focus on pulling into the leg, right? And that's gonna help me twist. If you have the foot, shoulders contracted, twist into that working leg, squeeze your thigh. Inhale, get longer. Exhale, sink deeper. And unravel. Bring that leg with you. Give it a little kick. Sit nice and tall. And then right across. Pigeon pose, personal favorite. How you should be returning your emails every day. Check this foot, it's right underneath your knee. Pelvic tilt forward. A little bit of weight, maybe come forward, right? Options here for progressions. I'm gonna go heel to heel, heel of hand, heel to foot. Folding to that direction, little pressure down on the thigh. Inhale up. Let's move that leg just a little, some muscle confusion on that. Foot is flexed. Frame the foot, reach, right? Forward tilt of the pelvis. Let your body weight get heavy. In with the eyes. Roll your way up and you'll take the pivot. So, I want you to spin, right? We wanna get this thigh to point straight down towards the floor. So make sure you kick that foot far enough back so that you've got some room here to open up through quad and hip flexor. Focus on engaging the glutes, curl the tailbone under, right? I'm squeezing and engaging. Arm can come up and over, option one. Or take a little bit of spinal rotation, which we always can use a little more of that. Chest is lifted, give me one more breath. And slow release. Meet me back to center. Push your hips all the way back. So I want you to go all the way to the back of your chair. If you can't reach the floor once you're here, you can keep the heels lifted and just focus on toes to the floor. Entering into this pose, it's a really good hip opener for those inner thighs. You can come forward and use the elbows. So I'm gonna let my body weight sink forward, energetically pushing open so I can hold here, allowing the upper body to get heavy. And if you prefer, you can put your hands on the floor and fold from there. I personally like to use that little press into the legs as I fold forward. Try to let your body get heavy. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, see if you can fold a little deeper. Maybe press those knees open. A 
roll up and pull those legs together hopefully that was quick and effective and of course thank you for working with me hopefully i get to see you soon whether it's back in your chair on your mat or if you're familiar with my channel in the air as well until i see you again and namaste